Good morning, afternoon or evening or whatever time you're watching this. It's the possibly last video in the painting two section for this spring. So here I am once again to inspire you to do that second painting, drawing, whatever elaborate thing you're going to do. And uh, I'm going to show you a process here that I went through with heads. So I started off with this one here that I was showing you of this saintly looking character. But it went through a process of me oh, doing lots of quickies. For me this is a quickie. This is a sort of Cossack. Russian or even Ukrainian. Before all this started, I did that in February and that was very quickly done. He's wandering through the Caucasus or somewhere and that was done just with um, black and white for the face and then I threw in a few colours for him behind. Then I did this one which I call Siegfried which was done using, uh, again, quite quickly. It was done in a two or three hours and it was done using uh, pure pigment here on the background. Pure pigment is just the powder colour and it's what they use to mix up oil paint or watercolour paint and it comes in a jar like this and you can see there it's a powder. This is a brown umber. And that's exactly what I used without anything, no binder or anything. It's a strange way of doing it, but I used it to create that very spontaneous background. And then I went into Siegfried's face with some uh, red, white, and uh, some little bit of yellowish and a little bit of bluish for the eyes, but not many colours in this head at all, this Siegfried. Then this was a much more elaborate one, which was again to do with the divers. He's got multiple tattoos all along the arm of different things going on with squids, octopus, and he's being, it's as if those are the tentacles that have tattooed his arm or branded his arm some dust on it and there he is looking out and there he is in fight with this tentacle woman I think although it's hard to say but it's got a face inside there and it's all in this kind of strange background almost a bit of a kind of distant memory of my homeland but it could be anywhere waterfall coming coursing down and the effluvia from the waterfall bursting out and that's done not with many colours you know the flesh the greys and the orange for the uh, squid you know I like that kind of orangish pinkish colour that they have and then this one which I was showing you last week when everything fell behind me so last week you saw it at a certain stage in the last few days I've been painting this diving suit. It's an old one. Uh, I did his hat first of all, then I did his face. Then this top of the diving suit is with a kind of chamois leather. And then that has a rubber thing here that's going to be sealing it so that the water can't get in when you go underwater. And then the other diving suit, and I found this quite hard to paint. It's uh, got this kind of old kind of rubberized stuff, uh, kind of like a kind of latex, ancient kind of rubber that they used to use for these things. So I was trying to get the effect of it. And that took quite a few days actually, strangely enough. So that's my process. You know, there was a few days just working through this and you'll remember it from last week's video if you are watching these videos. 
I had just done some of that. I'd done the face, I'd done the hat, and this week I worked on that. So it was kind of quite slowly building it up. You know, I'm doing it piece by piece by piece. But you can see the main thing is just to keep doing it. You can see that I kind of let one painting lead to another painting, lead to another painting, lead to another painting, and lead to another painting. You know, it's a kind of ongoing process. And uh, around the room, you know, are things to influence me and inspire me. There's books sitting there. There's even a fortune telling machine. Here he is. Ah, he lights up. Hear your fortune from Zoltar. Hard work pays off over time, but laziness, it pays off right now. Heed my advice, young one. <laughs> Relax and enjoy yourself today. You deserve it. There you are. Relax and enjoy yourself today. If you've done all the skeleton and all these works, relax. You deserve it. And you'll be getting your good grade from old Ian in a, in a week or whatever it is, the 20th, around the 20th something of May. 20th something of May. So anyway, that's it. I mean, really, there's nothing else I have to give you. I'm not giving you quizzes or anything silly like I give the first group. It's up to you now. Just knock out something interesting, send it to me. I had a lovely painting sent to me this week of someone who loves coffee, which I do too. And uh, a lot of people love coffee. I mean, it's uh, I don't smoke and uh, I do drink a little bit of wine, but not much. Uh, but coffee is something that I enjoyed seeing that painting of a coffee um, espresso pot and coffee beans and all that stuff that she did so it's lovely I, I, I definitely a top grade for you i won't say the names but <laughs> top grade and uh, that's it so i'll put this video up and uh, you can just relax there's no extra stuff you have to do this week other than carry on with your painting send me it by email or by text so that i get it and uh, that'll be it you know you're free Okay, so adieu for now. Bye-bye.